Is it real or is it fake? It's cute, but it's low key see through. I don't know how I feel about that. But this is what it looks like. This has a little stretch to it, but um kind of big <laughs> i got a large maybe i should have got a medium maybe i'm losing weight Who knows? so today i'm gonna be doing a shein haul and we'll be talking about the bbl epidemic i wanted to touch bases on this because it goes well with a shein haul why not talk about it so long long time ago a girl named mighty soul was born october 24th not telling you the year but anyway that girl was born right she grew up to a little girl basically i did want to talk about this topic because <laughs> it's the norm now and especially the norm now in my life i'm over it you know we're walking around here with a baby <laughs> but anyway so growing up i was really really skinny right Growing up, I was really skinny, but I did have a bubble butt. I had to, I don't want to say this is sexualizing me or not, but I had to say, for instance, you're going swimming and you're just a kid. I couldn't wear a regular bathing suit panty bottoms. Uh, my mom and my grandparents will always give me uh, shorts, like shorts so I could cover up the cuff in my butt when I was a kid. Now, I say it's sexualized only because, you know, men look. And that's sick. It's just sick to even think that men are looking at children, but men are looking at children. And I only say that because of the places that I've lived, I always felt like people were looking at me, right? I'm only saying it's sexualizing because why can't I wear these, uh, these panties, these bathing suits, the one bathing suits? I would think bathing suits were so cute and I couldn't wear them because they wasn't shorts. So as I got older, I knew once I'm going in a store and we're getting a bathing suit that I'm getting a bathing suit that is short bottoms and whatever type of top, right? So growing up, middle school came around, people commented on my butt and I was a stick, right? A stick with a hump. So I will walk by and people will see behind me, right? So I've been self-conscious growing up and I still have a little self-consciousness in me and people are like, what? How can you be self-conscious? Like, what are you being self-conscious for? Look, my body has ranged up and down, up and down, up and down. And it's been really hard on me. So let's say hitting high school, I still was skinny, but I had butt. And people can vouch for that. It's annoying that I even have to be like, people can vouch for me from back in the day, but it's true. Like I still had a bubble, but it was always gonna be there, whatever. I always thought I was gonna be skinny though. I will say that my mom always used to tell me, you are going to gain weight. And I think she always used to just give me heads up because you know, the same thing happened to her. Like she used to be a stick, but then she gained weight. So I used to just be like, girl, I'm not listening to you. Um, high school, I went through all high school, getting compliments on my web, whatever. How you get your butt like that? I literally used to have ask people like, how did your butt get like that? Listen, it's genetic. I don't fucking know. Excuse my language. Let's say around 19 to 20, I got really sick, right? Sick to where I had to be put on steroids and because I wasn't eating like that. No, I was anorexic. I didn't have no body problems. I had stomach problems. I put on steroids. I was eating, eating. That made me gain a little weight or whatever. I don't know what it was. I had gotten into this relationship when I was like 22, 23. I started gaining weight. I don't know if it was happy weight, whatever. Got my heart broken. Blew up even more. When I tell y'all, I had A cups. I don't even think my titties was A cups. Like, a lot of people always be like, your boobs have grown so much. Like... I know, but I'll be honest, my mom has always had boobs, like always. And they always, my grandma and her will always be like, why aren't, why isn't your chest growing? And I always tell them, I guess it went to my butt instead of my chest because that's literally how it was. Like flat chest, butt, right? I started gaining weight, my butt got bigger because I went from 100 pounds to 160. 60 pounds can do a lot to you. So yes, 
that ass in the trunk is real. And what is that statement? I get it from my mama. I definitely get it from Tyron Riddle. I get it from my mama and that is not an understatement. My mom wears men clothes. That's another story, so for another time, no here nor there. She wears men clothes. So therefore, people don't get to see her curve. My mom has the same exact arch as me. So it is annoying when people are like, oh, you probably got your body done. Or if I post a picture from a long time ago, I had posted a picture recently on like Facebook because I haven't been home in a minute. I had somebody being like, they literally DM me and was like, ass shots, question mark. And I said, listen, if you go all the way back so back in the day pictures, you'll see that I always had a hump back there. I always been curvy back there. If y'all understand, if I got surgery, do you understand? I would give myself more hits. That, I don't even think about surgery. I am scared to even go under anesthesia. I'm supposed to get my wisdom taken out the end of the year, beginning of the year. And I'm scared. <laughs> Who wants to be any type of high or come off of something and you don't know what's going on. Like, no, I am scared of surgery. I've never had surgery. And if a doctor ever say they did my surgery, cause let's say I blow up, right? If they ever say I got surgery, they fucking lying and I'm suing that ass some way, somehow. Um, Another thing, you think if I'm gonna get my body done, let me just, you, I have a belly. Like people will look at it and be like, you don't have no belly. I have a freaking belly. Like I got back rows and everything. You. You think I'm not gonna maintain something I had went and got surgery on? Y'all kidding me? Couldn't be fucking me, right? So I don't know if I'm gonna have like, my dog just staring at me. I don't know if I'm gonna have um the videos up somewhere uh, of me trying these clothes on while I'm talking or should I do clothes then have this video pop up? I don't know. But I've had somebody I fuck with, it's a girl or whatever. She's like, yeah, I thought your ass was fake. My booty don't even feel fake. I don't even know what fake booty feel like. Damn, like, I know some fake booties that got cellulite too, and I'm like, damn. So really, people can't tell, so I can't even tell, so. It's like, I can't even be mad at them for asking me, but it's annoying. I've always had self-conscious problems because I've been skinny and then I've blown up, and then I'm in this BBL epidemic, meaning people thinking I got my ass done, but God really, literally blessed me I don't have nothing against getting surgery. It's a thing. I haven't even buried children yet. Let me bear some children yet before I even think about doing some stuff like that. But I won't ever have to get this ass done. I won't. But then, say for instance, I have kids and I want a tummy tuck. If I get a tummy tuck, people gonna be like, I knew that ass was fake. Da -da 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 -da, because I went to go get a tummy tuck. Like, I know that happens with people, but it's like, I literally been having this ass. What if I get a tummy tuck because I had skin from having kids and it won't shrink down and i just i'm lazy when it comes to working out like literally i wouldn't let myself go if i had got surgery but the thing about it is i've never had surgery my ass ain't fake it running jeans right and then you gotta think about it i am mexican and black right and i say this to say some latin women have ass too just like this some black women got ass just like this, but it's a simple fact of why we gotta go through this. Why we gotta be, why people questioning my booty? My butt does stick out though, like, I'm not even gonna cap. It took me a long time, long, long, long time to actually feel comfortable in certain clothes that I wear. I have always had body problems as far as how I see myself in the mirror. Like, I can't even cry about it. Like. I'm not gonna cry on the camera though, but then again, I'm being real sick about it. But it's been hard going from skinny and then getting thick. And then when I get thick, I gotta deal with is your ass fake? Oh, you went to go get surgery. But when I was skinny, I had to deal with you're not eating. Da 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 da. When people didn't even know, I had problems gaining weight. I always wanted to gain weight. And then these things came later on, they didn't even come until I was. 24 and I'm 27 even though I just said that I would tell y'all my year that I was born y'all can do the math whatever my boobs didn't come out until I was 24 and these is the result of it I'm like in a d cup now whatever I, when I say I had ant heels probably not even ant heels I had little 
just nipples, okay? When I was, <laughs> when I didn't have no chest. Like, I blossomed into the woman that I was supposed to blossom into. And that's just how God made me. And it really bothers me sometimes when I'm always getting the questions of, is your ass fake? Is your ass fake? Is your ass fake? Let's talk about people touching you without asking you. Don't fucking touch me. Like, that's just how it is. Nobody who wants, who nobody should be touched just because of how their body is shaped or what they have on. Y'all need to let that shit go, right? And then let's say I have problems with, say for instance, I'm going for a classy girl, da, da, da. I can wear something loose in that ass and these titties is still gonna pop out. They just gonna be there. Like, there's nothing I could really do. I can't do shit about this. I've even went as far as I want a ass reduction. Because I just got tired of people staring at me growing up my whole life. And then I got to get older, blow up, and I got to deal with people asking me if my ass is fake. I get it from my mama. 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 mama it's the Latin in me. It's the black in me. Come on now. Like, stop playing with me. All right, I'm about to try these clothes on. Um, I like this shirt, but I don't really know why they put arms on it because I don't feel like that's how it was displayed in the picture, but this is cute. It has a little tie down at the bottom. This is a size large. Uh, I really love this top. It is so cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably put some little tape ins. Just so my boobs won't come out. We got this shirt. <laughs> I thought it was gonna look different, but maybe if I took it in, it'll look okay. This will be like if I went to brunch or something, took in my shirt, put some little accessories, make it real cute. You know, this is what the back looks like. I'm pretty sure everything I got is in a large, so yeah. The lighting has changed in here, but this is a bathing suit. I had to shave my woo piece. And I got a video coming up, so I can't really, can't really show the back part. <laughs> I don't want to get marked on YouTube. I love this dress. It's my anime dress. I really like it. It's so really cute. This is a little sundress, a little beach dress, you know. Nice. It's a little big. I got a um, medium. This is really cute. You can play with it. You can open this up. All right. You can have it out. It fits my butt because most shit don't ever fit. You can have it out. You can tuck it in. It's a really cute. So focus on the skirt. This is what I got. Look, I get it. I don't judge anybody who gets surgery. But my thing is about me, why would I get surgery when I'm already not really comfortable with my body as it is natural? And I'm not gonna say like not fully comfortable. I'm getting there, but yes, I still have those moments where I'm like, they're gonna be looking at my butt. But it's because I grew up like that. It's different when you ain't had no ass and then you get ass and you want your ass to be looked at. But my ass been looked at my whole life. So it's just different, you know? And I just really wish people would understand that people do have natural asses that poke out like this, that are big like this. And it's okay if you get surgery. Like nobody's judging that part. It's just that 
what I go through with my life is a little different, you know? People always telling me like, oh, you're so blessed. Everybody's saying that body like that. Don't give a fuck, cause I'm not them. That's for what they want, you get what I'm saying? But it's still, basically, I feel like if you already have insecurities mentally, you need to work with that first before you get surgery. That's just all I gotta say. And how can I do that for myself? And I still have insecurities about my body that I'm not comfortable with, you know? So that's what I wanted to touch up on. And thank you for watching my YouTube and my Shein haul. If you would like, subscribe, and comment below what you liked about the outfits and what you liked about the story. Thank you so much. You have a blessed day, night, morning.